Hello, it's that time of the week. It's Fox Sports Lab NRL. We're going to review the weekend. Yes, don't change your screens. I'm not Eloise. She's feeling a little bit crook at the moment, so I hope you're feeling better and can be back as soon as possible. But Josh Morris is with us as always. How are you, Josh? How was your weekend? Yeah, yeah, really good, mate. I'm over in Bali right now, so it's uh, nice and warm, but I still managed to catch the footy and saw some exciting games of footy. You lucky dog over in Bali. Perfect time to be here. All right, let's start with some exciting games of footy. And let's start with the Warriors. They dismantled the Sharks 44-12. They're up to fifth on the ladder now. What Can they dare to dream to make the top four? Because you know, all parts of their game are working. They're scoring tries. The combination of the halves is perfect for them. And can they, can they dare to dream that a top four spot is up for grabs for them? I think it's certainly up for grabs for them. Uh, they had a, a massive win over the Sharks. But what was good about it was... They, they kicked out to an early lead, but the defence was strong as well. And that's been a highlight for, for me all year for the Warriors. I, I think they're differently different this year. They've got that hard edge in defence, but then they're able to have that creativity with the likes of Sean Johnson and Luke Metcalf. Wade Egan has been outstanding for mm. them in the hooking role this year. So um, that they have the Raiders, which... They're above them, but their for and against is what will come into play in the back end of the season. They do have a, a lot bigger for and against than the Raiders, which is minus 55. And they also have the bye coming up, <coughs> sorry, into the Titans as well. So um, there's six, six points they could potentially bank there, and that, that will give them a big chance of being in the four. Yeah, I think that Raiders game is the one, as you mentioned, the, the your points differential is worth a game at the end of the year, isn't it? Especially when it's sort of talking 160-point turnaround against that. So that'd be a huge game for them. But on the flip side of that game, Josh, the Sharks, and are we seeing a trend with the Sharks? Is that if they're coming up a side like the Warriors or, or sides that are in the top four or around them in the top eight, they're getting beaten. Yet they're beating up on the sides down the bottom. Yeah, that is a bit of a concern. And Craig Fitzgibbon would have liked to have seen a better performance on the weekend, having having gone. They they still have a pretty tough road ahead of them. They've got mainly the Panthers and the Rabbits. Obviously, the Panthers sit up the top, but the Rabbits are below them, and a win would probably jump them above them. Um, yeah, I think what would most um, – it would really unsettle Craig Fitzgibbon would be that 44 points conceded. Um, yeah, he's been big on trying to get their defence – uh, in check heading into the final series. And this was a big, big test to go away and play over in, in New Zealand and try and come away with a win. Um, they certainly did that, uh, didn't do that. And they've got, um, you know, they've got a real test the next three weeks. So I can probably see them probably sitting in and around that fifth or sixth position come finals time. I don't think they're going to be in the, in the top four. Yeah, I think your spot on there. That top four spot is diminishing very quickly. Uh, Newcastle have put a couple together, albeit against sides down the bottom as well. But do you think that the fact that they haven't had, during this origin period, they haven't had a few of their stars, a lot was talked about, Caelan Ponga not playing, but haven't had a lot of their stars away from the game. So it sort of sets them up for the back half nicely. Yeah, I, I think not having Ponga in the in the origin series has been a, a godsend for them. And um Accordingly, he's played. He's been their best player mm. every week that he's played. So um, they they pretty much put a, a scoreboard on against the Tigers. But what I liked was Bradman best returning from Origin. He had an outstanding game in Origin, and that's only going to make him more confident as a player. Um, Safidi was good. Uh, Frizzell, he, he got a taste of Origin again this year. So they've got players there of that calibre that, that could go out and do the job. And I think with Ponga missing Origin, it certainly helped them I don't know if they've left their run too late, though. I think um, their next game that is versus a top four side. Um, they play the Storm and the Raiders and the Dolphins. Mm. And, um, yeah, I think if they win those three games, well, then they're certainly capable of being in the eight. But um, I've still got doubts about them. Just had to reach over and let the door open for room service, mate. Or was yeah. that... <laughs> no, sorry, the little fellas just tried to jump in <laughs> right out of the pool. <laughs> um, the Panthers uh, beat uh, the Dolphins and they were able to rest some of their stars. And they probably wouldn't have done that six or eight weeks ago when the Dolphins were going well, but they've been struggling of late. But it just shows that they uh, have got the depth to do so. But they must have been a bit, bit concerned when the hammer went over for a try and all of a sudden the Dolphins hit the front. Yeah, that's it. I mean, the, the Panthers, it just shows their depth and and their coaching, um, that they're able to still rest all their origin stars and still get the job done. I think Jack uh, Cogger has been outstanding for, for the Panthers. He's been able to get the job done in, in the absence of, of Nathan Cleary. Pretty big shoes to fill. 
They were up 12-0 in the game. Then the, the Dolphins made a spirited comeback, 14-12, but they were then good again, uh, good enough again to kick on to win 24-14. Um, their origin players, they'll, they'll be fresh from that rest and they'll charge into the back end of this season. They've got the Bulldogs, the Sharks and the Storm coming up. So um, those last two games are, are really good for the Panthers. You want to be playing decent sides before you head into the final series to test yourselves. And that Storm game in, in three weeks' time, that one I think will be a cracker. Yeah, it will be a cracker. You mentioned the Broncos and you mentioned the Storm. If we look at the markets right now for the Premiership. We know that Penrith have decided to beat. They're $2.80. The Bronx are $5. The Bunnies are 6 The Storm is 7 Who do you think looks a good price? Oh, look, I think the Storm. I think the Storm at $7. I mean, they're in the top four and no one's talking about them. No one, no one's giving them any credit. I don't think they've still played their best football. And a side coach by Craig Bellamy, you can never write out. I mean, last year they missed uh, the, the finals um, in, in the top four, and they were disappointed with that. So um, I, I think that's great value. But another one is is the Cowboys as well. Uh, I think you know we, everyone was writing them off at the start of the season, myself included. But um, they've shown over the last uh, six weeks that they can be a, a side to be meddled with. If uh, if they are to do it, they will rewrite history. That they will be the first team that's had fifty scored on them to win the premiership. So history is against them. But also, um, Jason Tamalolo has kind of been in and out uh, throughout the year. If he gets injury free, he's a scary prospect to these sides heading into the finals time. So I think they they've got the the personnel to do it there with Drinkwater, uh, Dearden, Townsend, Tamalolo, Ruben Cotter. Valentine Holmes, you, you could name a, a lot more there. So uh, between those two sides, I think there's a bit of value in those two sides. All right, mate. We'll, uh, we'll let you get back to your holiday and, and enjoy the rest of your time in Bali. No worries. Thank you. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.